five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Asia, we finally have a space startup from Asia on the podcast. Many of you probably didn't know that there's a late stage space startup in Thailand, but Moo Space is a Series C stage company manufacturing small sats and their components. I caught up with their founder and CEO, James Yenbang Rung, in person at the Moo Space headquarter office when I passed through Bangkok this week. Enjoy. My name is Raphael Rodkin, and I'm an investor and advisor to space companies. Just as a reminder, this podcast is for informational purposes only and nothing should be taken as investment advice. This podcast is sponsored by Nanoavionics, a satellite manufacturer and mission integrator. Their technologies enable many space companies worldwide to offer services that improve life right here on Earth, such as providing global connectivity, conducting Earth observation, or contributing to scientific discoveries. Check them out and also check out my episode with the CEO and co-founder. Sadly, I am not a rocket scientist but I'm an alumnus of the International Space University. ISU offers a number of educational programs about space worldwide. Check them out at isunet.edu. And just some final things before we start the episode about ourselves. If you enjoy the podcast, please leave us a five-star rating on your favorite podcast platform, such as Apple or Spotify. If you want us help, expand our work, you can do so and support us at www.patreon.com forward slash space business podcast. And we'll also put that link in the episode notes. And lastly, you can follow us on Twitter at podcast underscore space. Hey, space enthusiasts, welcome back to another episode of the Space Business Podcast. And I'm super excited today for various reasons. One, it's actually the few times, at least in recent history, that it's a live podcast, not live in the sense that we're transmitting live, but live as in, in person. I'm actually sitting with our guest here in person in his office in Bangkok, Thailand, which is actually another reason I'm excited about it because it is the first time I'm back in Asia since COVID. And the other reason I'm excited about it is, is the fact that in Asia, it's, I think it may be our first podcast guest from Asia from memory. And of of course, we want to have many more Asian space companies on this podcast. But so without any further ado, I haven't actually told you who our guest is yet. Our guest is the founder and CEO of the Thai company Moo Space, James Yenbang Roon. Did I pronounce this halfway correctly, James? Yes, that's the, I think you got it. Yeah. Great. Well, welcome to the podcast. And we always start out by asking our guests to give us the elevator pitch on your company, please. Um, yeah. Well, Moo Space, we are the, the space company in in. Southeast Asia. Um, I think one of the early companies in, in this region. So we were founded in, in 2017. Our main business is the uh, small satellite um, uh, manufacturing and also the uh, LEO satellite internet service in, in this region. We're going to explore various elements of, of your company, of course, over time, technology, your markets and so forth. But we very often start by understanding a little bit more about the origin story of the company. So you're obviously originally from Thailand. I believe you studied in the US at UCLA. And then first, how did you decide to start a space company? And then how did you decide to start a space company in Thailand? Because of course, many people start space companies in the US and yeah. there's a lot of government support and so forth. But you kind of did a thing that, sound, that sounds doubly hard, right? Starting a space company, which is not easy and starting it in a, in a place which I don't know very well. And we, you know, yeah. we'll talk more about the space ecosystem here, but what was the, what was your thinking there? Yeah, well, the, the, the thinking was, uh, well, I was born here. So, so, I think because you know I'm 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 from I'm from Thailand originally. Um, although I'm, I'm you know I'm also uh, naturalized American. Um, because I I, I left uh, I left Thailand in uh, when I was 14. Uh, I was in New Zealand actually also three years before I, I went to high school in in the United States. So so you know part of my life it's you know half time in 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 Thailand. Uh, and then and then half half the time in in the in the United States. Um, so the, the reason because well I I always like. Um, you know, g growing up, you know, I I, I love uh, airplanes. You know, I, I like the you know space exploration. Um, I like uh, you know a lot of uh, you know sci-fi, um, you know cartoon animations. You, you you know Asian is very good at mm -hmm. you know, a lot of this like space um, animations that I, that I really like. And then it's revolved around you know very 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 strong, very high powered uh, spacecraft. You know, very powerful robots, th those kind of things. So so yeah, so so I I think I I got my export 
exposure. Um, as you mentioned, I went to the school and after high school, I went to uh, UCLA both for a uh, bachelor and master and, and also uh, work in the industry for quite some time, actually. There, there was some actually calling in me that at some point I have to start a company. So I, I, I was always, you know, want to take some more risks and then want to do something different. Yeah. So I, I knew that for the space industry in Southeast Asia, it's very, you have to, to uh, try to start it from scratch. You know, if, if you're starting from scratch, of course, the, 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 the blueprint has to be very different from how you do it in the United States, right? So you have to plan things differently. Uh, but the good thing is that you, you get to see from the beginning, you know, so it's very hard. It's, it's a barrier to entry is much higher, you know, like in US, you, you can, you can lease the sites. You could, you could do various things with the agencies that, you know, you know, had some of the legacy sites that you could uh, leverage from that. But, but over here, it's, it's a little bit different. You, you need to uh, factor in, um, you know, some of the uh, infrastructure that you, you might need to, to do it as well. Can you talk a little bit about, I mean, is there something like a Thai space ecosystem? What I mean by that, for example, is there, I don't even know, I must say, mm. is there a Thai space agency? Is there other parts of the government looking after space? Is yeah. the military interested in supporting space? Are there other startup companies? Are there any established yeah. companies? Can yeah. you give us an overview? Yeah, uh, in, in, in Thailand, there's an agency called uh, Tista. Thailand, we don't have a space law yet, but then but then when, when the space law comes out, it's likely Tista going to be upgraded to be a, a full space agency. But, but they're the one that, you know, when they have to entering the accords with like NASA. So, so they're the one that representing Thailand. So, so we, we, we call them like a NASA version in, in, in Thailand. So we do have the, the space agencies that who, uh, the we space, we, we, we working very closely with them in, in, you know, various projects in, uh, in, 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 in Thailand. And would you say the government is otherwise supportive of space? I mean, for example, are there grants available for people like you or other types of support? Yeah, that, that's the, in the beginning, that was none, you know, it, it normally it was uh, supporting other industry, but, uh, currently I think, I think, we, I think when, when we, we, the first one, right, we, we got some of the, the, the support in terms of the, the incentives for, for the, you know, the, the, the tax for, for the, uh, the investments, you know, in, in investors coming from, let's say, let's say from local Thailand and from, you know, overseas can actually, uh, be tax free in terms of, you know, investing and, and exit the company. But there's also some other support that we got on the uh, the import on on the you know the raw materials so that was certain you know rare materials that we need to export to you know put it in now in products and also the machines that we we need to import and there was some needs for the high precision machines so we also get that and and also the corporate tax as well so we, we, we have uh, but this is like very similar to uh, because Thailand is also a uh, manufacturing hub for uh, electronics mm -hmm. uh, but the the consumer electronics the automotive and then we, we big on support on the e at the moment and petrochemical. So it's very, very really the same, the same type of class that we be being granted. So we expect to be more. So we, we want them to uh, buy, uh, currently it's like, you know, to create the, the this new industry. So we be trying to push for the high level of local contents, um, you know, like lo local made, uh, you know, satellites and spacecraft. But from what you say, it sounds like there is, um, and from what I know, there is no sort of existing aerospace supply chain, which is probably by you have to do a lot of things from scratch, like you mentioned. That that that's exist that, that's existing aviation. That's you know MRO and and that, and that, and it exists manufacturing for automotive, which you know that's that's like you know you no know, thousands of parts inside a car as well. And electronics, you know, when you want to go precision uh, for the chemical, it's an advanced material that you could get, you know, on the different type of polymers. So we, we are actually a supplier to the world on that. So so it's like actually you 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 are you are, you are quite close to the very unique machines and and very unique materials. So I think I think that's that's the basis of of how you you invest on something that or you could actually get something that's already existed, but but from the different industries or maybe you might have to fit it or. You might have to tell them that to, to do at the lower quantity, or you you can tell them that this is going to be a higher standards, and so so they have to add to the standards. So so we ended up having to work with them, but once they do they do that, they they get you know because space involves high tech, right? So that that's a way. Then then that, that that's quite a good reception that they they our, our supplier also would like to 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 be in space, and so so they need you know someone to 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 start it. But I'm still guessing that because there's, of course, less of an established, say, space-oriented supply chain than the U.S., you probably have to be more vertically integrated here 
So how vertically integrated are you in your manufacturing process? We, we, we try to be, you know, uh, to be very integrated. Uh, it, it takes time. You know, <laughs> we want to be like, you know, close to a majority. So majority say there's 80%. Uh, but but our, our early vision we've seen, you know, we try to, to be like 50. Um, so I, I would say, you know, close to 50. And, and uh, but depending on, you know, because we still need to raise funds, we still need to uh, win more customers and, and, and take care of more resources, then we, we would try to be more than 50%. Uh, but, you know, 50%, I mean, 50% that is it's made inside our 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 facilities. Yeah. And I guess and that, that's obviously not necessarily a bad thing because also that means you have control over yeah. what, what you're producing, control of yeah. your supply chain. Yeah. Of the, yeah. A lot of people obviously had supply yeah. chain issues over yeah. the last few years. Uh, we, we we see that we can even work with with uh, some of the like what I mentioned on even we, we work with the met the the chemical company, the electronics, the uh uh automotive components i think i think we, we we can go above 50 that's that's for sure so so that's what we've been uh that that, that that's a strategy that we've been deploying so so that's uh we could when we have the customers coming in in thailand let's say it's, it's an enterprise or, or, or government agencies we, we said you know we could do it uh yeah. at the high content because because of you know there was this guy that we work with um and and we we make sure that you know we they they want to participate in in the, the growth in the space industry coming up so so we expect it happens in the united states it it happens in europe it happens in north and part of asia and i think it's going to happen in 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 southern part of uh, yeah agreed so, yeah at some point so let's let's give our listeners uh, a more tangible idea of your of your product. You're obviously manufacturing and integrating set satellites. Can you describe a little bit like what is your main satellite platform right now? So like size factor, the capabilities, yeah. what kind of use cases it's targeting? Right. right. Our, our satellites call uh, B200. Um, so basically, 200 is 200 kilograms. Um, so they are. It's the um, 100, 120 kilos contribute to the bus weight, and then 80 percent is for the payload side. Yes. Small sets. Yeah, small sets. Yeah. So, so well, but basically, uh, the the small set it's breaking down into two, right? So, small satellite manufacturing and launch. So, uh, the, I think the more than uh, I think two thirds of the industry it's it's coming from the the satellite the small satellite manufacturing because of the growth in the uh, the use in the, uh, the, the 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 big constellation. Uh, as you know, there's a lot of uh, this supply chain that that we could contribute into, um, and that's also the use for the um, you know particular uh, government applications, and and also the remote sensing. Uh, um, the the, the uh, um, we we we've also recently been into the you know CO two monitoring that that could could also uh, take off as well. You know. Any any use cases um, you're particularly excited about? Well, I'm particularly excited about um, I think the connectivity for sure because we 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 you know, we we know that uh, our current partner you know they've uh, launched a total of over six hundred satellites, uh, but then generation the next generation is coming up and and we are participating in the supply chain. So we uh, it's, it's already started. So it's uh, so we're very really excited if, if we can you can contribute, you know, uh, a, power, a power system because of, well, I didn't mention about our, our power systems. I that that, that that a certain number, but but our our focus is on the number of uh, the power density, the energy density that we pack uh, per, per 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 mass. So so that's been now uh, focus of the R and D and early years development since two thousand nineteen. So yeah, so so we expected to. To contribute to 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 use that knowledge to in, into the supply chain, so I think it's going to be the 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 next generations of the constellations that our our you know potential customers and our existing partner would 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 select us. Um, then and there's some others as well uh, that uh, we we think we could uh, contribute into you know, numbers of missions. I think I think having having the the platform that is powerful, you know, allowing you to 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 optimize um other parts of the of, of the of the satellites. Mm -hmm. it's, actually, it's actually interesting. Remind us when when did you found the company? 
uh, we I, I found coming in June 2017. 2017. So that was arguably, I mean, I don't know whether you agree, but certainly what, what I'm seeing in my activity as a venture capitalist, it now seems many satellite, both existing integrators as well as new ones, they're kind of moving towards small sats, right? Whereas 2017, arguably, there was still, it was a high of the CubeSat trend, but right. you seem to have focused sort of from the beginning on you know, small sats. What, what was your thinking there that you, it seems correctly diverged from the majority of the market at that time? Well, it's maybe it came from, it's like, you know, you want to build a car, you want to build a bike, you know, I, 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 I we, we just feel like when we look at the CubeSats, I, 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 but well, don't, 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 don't get me wrong. Cube, CubeSat is great. And then we also do a little parts on the CubeSats as well. Um, but we felt it, it's not going to push the limits of manufacturing and the use of the, the metro because the space is very limited. You know, you were talking about, you know, the, you know, the one Q, the one kilo, or you can go up the other way to, you know, the, the six U and even, even more use, but you are talking about one to 10 kilos, right? <laughs> and then if you, if you, if you look at our battery packs, right, you know, the, 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 the cells and everything, I think when, when you pack a hundred cells and you, you wouldn't have out of room already. So, so um, yeah, so we want to do, we want to do like serious components. Like we want to uh, do, do, uh, 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 you know, uh, build, Let's say you because of the main component that we build, it's the the the, the power system, the the, well, the battery, the, the battery packs, powered and power electronics, uh, reaction wheels, um, the the, uh, the 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 antenna system, communication module. So 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 if if you if you have to put them into the the cubesat, then it's gonna be like a little a little bit of pieces, right? So it's not it's not like it's not a full meal. <laughs> so so that's what I I always feel that uh um yeah we, we have to go bigger. Uh yeah. So so we so we we decided that in order to uh go for what we call high powered uh 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 satellite platform. What, what does that mean? What is the sort of power um capability of your satellites um right now we for the 200 we we for the first one we push for uh one 1.2 kilowatts okay yeah one 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 point two kilowatts but then it, in theory depending on the battery cells we could do we could do uh, uh three kilowatts like if we if we use you know the latest like battery um we i, th I think before we started we we were doing the math right we, we even like you know trying to uh, being very fancy, what what is uh, the the maximum limits, right? Because uh, we I think we started from even ten kilowatts, but then it's it's impossible. So we've been kind of like coming back down to to what what is really really possible. So I think I think for for us, it's in the range of like one point two to three kilowatt for for the two hundred ki uh to a, for the two hundred kilogram class. Uh, but last year we also announced a five hundred uh, kilogram. So because we build them in modular, so we, we could actually, you know, like double the size. And then it's just to 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 make sure that um, we, we we cover the new market that it's it's coming available because uh, you uh, probably heard about the direct, uh, you know, to sell the direct to the, the smartphones concept. Sure. So that, that that needs a high, the, the, the very big power systems. Very big antenna, so so that that was the reason why we we said uh, we 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 know it's gonna come. So so we we just kind of like okay, let's let's announce the the five hundred, uh, uh, you know the the B five hundred. Yeah, I was I was actually just about to ask you about use cases for this because that's quite obviously quite a very decent power budget you have there. I mean. Yep. Especially compared to CubeSats, as we yeah, that's talked right. about that's before. Right. Yeah. So or, or you can compare to like very early, like uh, very early uh, Leo. You, know, you could call like Starlink One Web or sure. other constellations. I mean, they they the the, the first versions or, or even even our partner One Web. You know, the, the early uh, the, the early ones are like four hundred watts, and then it's been it's been increased. You know, to to like uh, to to the, the seven hundred watts. Like you know, go, going towards to one one kilowatt, but but then we, we want to make sure we, we go up one kilowatt right away, and then trying to push it further. But then the the 
the limiting factor it's on it's on the on the battery side. But it seems you also you're talking about, you were talking about way above one kilowatt on the 200 kilogram platform and yeah, the 200 kilogram. Installing, I think, from memory, even installing the first generation is is four or five hundred kilograms, I think, right? So per on a per yeah, kilogram. that that's a mini one as well. That that's yeah. a small one and big one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the per kilogram basis, it's uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's actually quite favorable. Yeah. So other than a direct to um, direct to device, is there any other interesting use cases that you or customers have thought of about you know what to do with this power budget? Because there's obviously some power mm. things like specific types of sensors for EO and so forth. Yeah, that's right. I think I think having the power in things differently is that uh, the other one is like you you we also build the the power into modular. So meaning that uh, we could we could we could take take the take the battery cells out. So that means it's creating the space for for the remote sensing application. So remote sensing is different. It needs it needs more volume to, yeah. to fit the t- big telescope yeah. and things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, to, to fit to fit the telescope. It's, it's on the the you know the the, the F number, the the the, the, the where the net number turned into mm-hmm. the di- the diameter of, of the telescope. So so that, I think that you know gives the uh the the the, the maximum throughput for for its class. So I think I think so. It's coming from. It is more like a step two, right? If you have a strong bus, and then you could actually, um, uh, if if you have a let's say the the the, the bus uh, that you don't need as big as before, because even a small bus inside that, let's say the 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 the, the large volume vo- larger volume five hundred uh, kilogram class, uh, you could actually do more like onboard compute, you know, onboard computing. But but whilst you're having a, a a nice you know larger diameter telescope in there, yeah. It's funny you mentioned onboard computing because that was literally going to be my my next question: whether you have any other sort of interesting capabilities or subsystems, and yeah, specifically onboard computing because it's obviously it's publicly known that quite a few satellite companies are experimenting with that and yeah. part, and partly operating it already. Yeah. So is that something that's already available on your platforms as well? Um. Uh, yes, we, we, uh, we trying to have that. I think, I think that would be at how, limiting on how much we could do, uh, but, but definitely, uh, as we go into, uh, I think, um, what did I mention is block one, right? When we go to block, block two, definitely, uh, the onboard is, gonna, is, is going to be there. Um, the other, uh, program that we worked on, it's the design our own chip. So, so we, we mentioned our own, you know, FPGA designs that we, uh, uh, we recently filed for patent as well for for our VPGA the design to to uh, make sure that we could we could uh, you know process data and and consuming uh, you know like at at the most optimized power level. So so that's that's kind of like contributing to that factor that you know we have that coming up. But then but then that technology will kind of like likely to be coming from the later later block development. So you mentioned this block one versus block two. Can you just quickly explain the differences? Block one is the one we've been talking about, the 250 yeah. kilogram. Then you mentioned 500 kilogram. Is that the block two or is that just the variation of that? That's that's uh, that, that's like different series. So so 200, yeah. 200, 200, kilo, 200 kilogram is the, you know, it's it, on its own. The, the 500, it's like, it, 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 it's heavier, right? It, it's like, it's like, uh, do you say like, it's, a, it's an SUV, so it's it's bigger, yeah. But for but coming now to 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 uh to to block block one block block one is more cus- customized per our customers' requirements. So so we, we we leave it open to to the work with the with the customers who who can you know custom you know what what needs to be in there. Um, but for but for block two block two is more like um you know when you go towards uh, a production. So, so meaning that, you know, a lot of things will be like streamlined, will be produced in, in more like unit on, 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 on block two. And also block two will incorporate, you know, um, the new, um, you know, computing that, 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 uh, uh, I, I mentioned previously. Yeah. And is block one already flying in space or? Uh, not yet. Not yet. When, what is, what's the plan? The plan, the plan is to uh, complete our current round of funding, uh, which we 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 uh, were working on, as you know, um, and and uh, so, but but we built we built the prototypes already. Um, well, we we went through iterations of them. You know, if, if you visit our factory, of course, the prototype is in our factory. 
So we have uh, uh, two, I think a good size uh, clean room in there. Um, Cause there's, a, there's about, uh, about over 2000 uh, square meter uh, workspace uh, in our factory for, for the satellite. Um, so yeah, so so as soon as we we, we wrap up our, our funding program, then then we're definitely going to to put it up for you know for for space uh, to achieve uh, uh, the 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 readiness the the TRL you know the higher level of TRL because it's linked to the customer that sign up as well. You know, we we need to achieve the the, the certain we are TRL the TRL is seven or eight in order to to uh, you know. Secure the secure the the, mm-hmm. the full contract. The funding round for memory does I think a series A or series B you're raising right now. Um it's C. Yeah. Series C. Okay. Yeah, C. So you okay, you've yeah. raised quite a few rounds already. Yeah. Okay, and but I assume you obviously have planned customer missions already. And so do you have an idea of like the first launch date? Um yeah, we we planning for so we're currently so depending on that, um, I think it's gonna be early next year. Um uh, where we keep we keep shipping it out because it's led to, to you know, getting getting that you know funding close because we know it's not going to be one launch. I think I think we have planned it for like a, a like a three because we we expect it's going to be some failure as well um, on on the first ones and then and then the second ones and also the third one. So 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 we've been planning for for you know for for you know sequ- sequence to, to yeah. do it. I mean, speaking for a moment as a venture capitalist, dropping a podcast, that was. Um having enough money to sustain multiple losses and failures in the space sector is we all know i think certainly a smart a smart thing to do yeah and, so- and well, we, we hope that the well we know that the the cost of one is, is coming down right because we, sure. we, we we're hoping it's coming down more because as we as we have this uh be, because we we, we, we we test them in in on the ground and on a space-like environment and we to, to achieve the the you know TRL you know level five uh six um but but then we 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 know that uh you know the launch cost is coming down you know we 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 hoping that the, the new fully reversible vehicle it's is active and then they have some ride share program and and that that will drive costs even even lower right you mean on starship yeah I mean even starship mm-hmm. Or, or, or some other like uh, startup or launch company that can actually do dedicated it that that uh, much more cost effective, right? By the way, as I, as I said in the introduction, we certainly want to do much more in in Asia with um, interviewing space companies and space startup companies. Is there any inter- interesting launch companies you're working with in in Asia? Um, well, in Asia, well, I, I, I've seen some attempts, you know, because through you know a pass through some of the fundraise. You know, because the, you know that that's some because sometimes I I do help the fellow to to connect to to raise their fund as well. Uh, sure. Um. Well, it, it's it's difficult for the reason because of the space part because because it's not uh satellite because of uh, because us we are kind of like uh we can work with automotive we can work with electronics. But but then for for the clean room is even on the health and then food it, it's you would, that that's a clean room kind of uh the but but for the launch you need a space for it right you can't but but in in this vision if you want to do the launch then it's better done in like united states mm. uh because because the space for is, is so many of them and then you can just maybe you know lease aside you know even even a company founded in using like uh 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 rocket lab right so so the port but then they, they also when they when they built it um, when they build the port in, in, in their location, you know, it's, it, that, that you see, it's, it's, it's actually, uh, it, it's not like other company like SpaceX, Blue Origin, uh, some other uh, company in the U.S. that they, they could just, you know, public private partnership and then just take advantage of the existing, uh, sites from NASA and then just select the port and then, and then, and go. Right. So, so, so that, that, that's why if, if you do the launch in, let's say if, if you, if you are the launcher, uh, startups in this region, then, then it, that there has to be some tie up with. Sure. With, there has to be a launch. Yeah, so in, in order to that's, it. That's, yeah. that's why it makes sense to have launch companies, places more like India and Korea. And, and oh, India is great. India, India is, it's, I, 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 I love India. I, I, I went to the, the launch, uh, 19, 
the the the, the launch had completed the one web constellation. Mm -hmm. So I went to uh it was it's, it's, it's near Chennai. So I landed in Chennai and then went up. And because I, I went to so many launches in, in the United States because of my my background and also in the industry. But the India was was nice because of the simplicity and and uh the the the, the, the precise timing because because they 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 they, they don't scrub they they, they tip, well I, I didn't know because I, I flew in and then uh, the launch suppose they I, I still remember it's like nine nine oh one <laughs> and I and I the first thing I went because I went with with uh, with with our CEO Sam and, <laughs> and I told Sam because Sam Sam never gone to the launch well even though he worked on the satellite operators for a long time but then he's never gone to one um, so the first one he went it's it's the you know, he, he he worked well twenty years in the the TO industry, <laughs> and then and then the first one he went is the Leo. <laughs> so so when he went, I told I told I told him that um, it's gonna maybe it's gonna be delayed. You know? Like how many days that we have to reserve if it's if the launch is delayed for a day or two. So we decided we're gonna okay we we can take delay one day. <laughs> so meaning that uh, if it's delayed for one day, uh, we have to come back. So we didn't get to see the 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 the, 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 the complete the launch uh, one web launch nineteen, mm. but then exactly in the moment it's it's uh, nine oh one <laughs> it went in exact exact time. You you've mentioned that oh, you've been talking about launching from the US and so forth, and I realized I should ask you also. So you're obviously a satellite company, well space company based outside of the US. Because of your virtual inter vertical integration, you're substantially using your own or locally sourced components. Does that mean your product is is free of any sort of regulatory restrictions like ITAR? Um, well, well, yeah, we we have to comply to ITAR for uh, some of the uh, some of the projects that we we uh, you know we we also protected the information that that we receive if, if it's ITAR related. Um, you know, because you know, when when we work with the launcher, sometimes we, we do receive them, but then when we know in terms of the the ITAR com compliant complying is very important. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, for 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 this, but but then we we we, we being being very mindful from where the, the on the build materials, like where our materials is coming from. You know, we you know, let's say because that's the uh, the the geopolitical ten well some of the tension uh Oh, well, well, I hope I hope it gets better. It looks like it's getting better. Um, you know, U.S., China, and and uh, Russia, and and uh, Ukraine. Um, yeah, but so 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 we have we have our own uh, comply complying system that that we could you know, make sure it is hundred percent uh, comply. Okay, what I'm getting at is that you you know if if you maybe have fewer restrictions than maybe some other space companies, then there could be a competitive advantage, right, in terms of being able to sell to a wider set of customers? Um, well, well, I, I think it, it's how we plan ahead for, you know, because that, that will be some some that, you know, we we might not get in directly, right? Even 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 uh even on the service side. So I, I think I think we quite experienced on this already that, you know, there's that will be certain market that we should not get into or, mm -hmm. or we should be partnering with some someone. Um uh for example, like if, if we take the the satellite uh, Leo service, uh, the the one web service where we just uh, work on the, the the you know the distribution partnership. So there was some some uh, uh, I think I think certain country that we, we need to take very very careful uh, uh, look you know on how we how, on how we get in or even certain approval from our partner before we get in. So, so we, we, we have that uh, arrangement in place. Understood. Let's get back to, we were talking about your fundraising round and, and how much are you raising if you can talk about it, roughly speaking? Um, well, for, for this round, we are, we are uh, targeting um, from uh, the, the minimum size, like 30, 35 million and up to uh, seven, 75 million. Okay, so, so that's, that's, our target. that's quite a decent size. And so I was going to ask you about the use of funds, but you've been talking about sort of block two and sort of uh, manufacturing. So is this go, is this substantially going to be invested in, for example, production facility, or how you're going to use those funds? That's right, mainly on to uh, the the for for the the capex for the facility. Uh, we we have you know announced our, our you know our, our larger version factory from our existing 
uh, facility, you know, that's, you know, for the machines, uh, for the, for the labs, you know, for the testing facilities. So, so there's a lot of, I think, uh, on, on that majority is contributing to the CapEx side. Um, and, but, but also, also very, 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 very robust R and D as well. So I think, I think it's like 20% of that will, will go towards like R and D too. R and D is on the, you know, battery cells, R and D, um, the, you know, various R and D that we want to do. Can you give us an idea of how many, so your current facility that you already have, how many satellites roughly can you produce, say, per year? And then ideally in the new facility, which, as I understand, is more supposed to be something like mass manufacturing, yeah. if we have something like that for satellites, how many satellites per year in the new facility? And, and satellites per year. In the new facility? Uh, current, 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 okay. current capacity. Uh, the, the, the new is going to, uh, to over 100. Okay. Yeah. So that's an interesting industry trend, right? That's sort of first time we're sort of seeing uh, something like mass manufacturing in in the space sector, right? I think SpaceX it's, also is well, it's not mass, it's, it's volume. It's volume, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah, yeah. not that mass yet, but yeah, it's yeah. certainly much higher unit numbers yeah. than that's right. And, and I hope uh, better unit yeah. economics, um, well, economies of scale. Then that's right, that's right. Because we see like it's we be looking at like the the satellites itself and also. The, the component level, like what the component level, uh, what we see, um, it, it, the, the satellite, it, it's very, very, very rare to get onto about like, but, 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 but we see it over 1000 units of, of the bits that, that, you know, we, we need to participate, you know, so, so, so when we say the factories, we also serving, uh, not, not, not just the satellite, uh, but, but also the, the, the component level. Mm -hmm. manufacturing as well and can you give our listeners an idea what a modern volume manufacturing satellite facility looks like what i mean by that is sort of like is there something that resembles like a automated assembly lane like how much use of you know things like robotics um what does it look like um it's it's it, it doesn't look like well of course it doesn't look it doesn't look like uh or, you know it doesn't look like a tesla factory it, no <laughs> obviously not <laughs> Uh, it, it's really for, I think, I think for the satellite is still be customized on, on, uh, there's still people there. I think, I think robots, it's going to be for the position, you know, some of the position, some of the, you know, like uh, the position on the integration process. So, so that needs to be robot there. So I think, uh, you see the workplace that are more, well, it looks like modular block and, and also seeing the, the, the 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 human and 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 robot combination so human human and robot combination uh, uh work, work workplace yeah and so with this kind of new level of you know um mass not sorry not yeah. mass but volume manufacturing yeah I, I hope i hope to to achieve mass manufacturing since we on the podcast make it interesting <laughs> uh if if you uh uh last year when we meant we, we announced our our larger version factory we mentioned about before we do it, we're gonna create a digital twin. We, we, we did it actually. So on, on on the on the factory one, we we did we did actually made the digital twins like a, a, a mini games of that. So we 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 actually um, cloning it onto 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 the gaming environment. So 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 that I think on this quarter, or, well, I ho hopefully sometime this year, we'll be able to. To show you uh, what 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 it's gonna look like, e even before you know we put out a capex, because we we want to the um, look at the business case, the revenue that come that 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 will be coming in, and what kind of you know capex per square meter. I will, I, I, I'm sure like your listener might be familiar to square feet, but for us it's not a square meter. So so we we announced it in December that we're gonna optimize for this. To make sure that we we have it, uh, you know, at 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 what manufacturing uh, at at what production uh, capacity that we need to be, you know, able to sustain, you know, to make to make it, uh, you know, not 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 just a build it big, right? We we need to build it uh, right. So 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 that's like we think we think uh, using some of the simulation to. To, to make sense of that kind of makes sense a lot to us. So, so one other interesting, I guess, metric in the satellite market is historically it's sometimes or very often it's taken a very long time to basically get a satellite manufactured and ready for launch. 
with this new type of volume manufacturing, if all goes well, roughly speaking, how long do you think time from order to having a satellite ready to be shipped to launch site could be in an ideal scenario? Um, under 12 months. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's 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 really quite yeah quite good. To 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 be to be like similar to how you order a car. Okay. Okay. Or, or even lower, you know, we, we wanted to, like, if we do it modular or we could actually, you know, prep some of the uh, components ahead um, or, you know, manage our supply chain, like, very close to us. Yeah, we want to be, like, nine, even even nine months, but but it's very difficult to do. But we we set target on, on the, the, what, what we sell on to our customers, we, we set uh, 12 months. Yeah. But when we sell, because, you know, we, we still need the, the final flight, so... So so, but then but then we, when we get on to the, the real um, in delivery, so that 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 is going to be something that. But 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 we have the this philosophy and setups already in place because because the same the, the team that will be will be doing it is the same team. So so because we have we have the assisting team that you know is ready to scale. So we've been looking at um, the full cycle and and but but we we just need the the. the the actual deliveries when it happens, then then uh, you know, then then we could optimize it. But but we could start because we'll be, um, you know, as you know, on the component level. So so we could even start in from that. So we could actually uh, doing some kind of um, factoring and see, um, and then maybe added some of the uh, if it's more complex, then you could actually do some kind of um, projections and see uh, roughly in in order that it could be about this that if you're not improving at the component level and then you let it go or i mean then let, let, let it stay the same and what it is and, and be happy about it when you go into the the full system level then you you won't be able to to meet what you promised your customers that you would be able to do okay now i forget to ask you if you can talk about it uh, so what's what's roughly the price point for one of your platforms is a small so i'm assuming a few million dollars is that about that's right we announced in uh, you know, uh we announced in in the end of 2021 um for four million on our on our block one platform the, the customizable so meaning that we included all the engineering designs that you know we have to work with the customers very really close very okay. close yeah and so looking the, now the production could even you know go lower looking now and towards the future who are your customers for example like is it governments commercial mix is it mostly southeast asia or is it also other geographic regions um the 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 customers on the the on, on the regional level and also the global level and and also the 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 the, the government uh as well and we see that uh for the, the manufacturing products, the uh, customers are coming from the menu, uh, the, the the operator itself. So so the the constellation operators, the constellation startups that want to do demo and then you know have a vision to go on to to uh, create their own platform, and we want to um, help them realize the the vision. Uh, the, the the large manufacturer that um, you know because. They want something different in in philosophy, something that push more the limits. So so we we are targeting the the major the major manufacturers to supplying them as well. Um, the the government. So the government likes to have the custom uh, you know missions. So so those are our are there any target clients. Any interesting um, customer missions that that you can talk about that you want to highlight? Oh. We we love to participate in one, one web gen too. So we recently entering yeah, onto creating that extension from the existing relationship from from one web on on uh, you know distribution. You know that that was uh, you know a few other things that one web you know asked us to help look into. Um, but yeah. then but so then it, on a full satellite level or on a component level. Um, I think we're starting from the component level, mm -hmm. but but we we we're not writing off the the full satellites. Uh, it could so be really like a power. Power yeah, the power power subsystems um, for the for the bigger ones. Yeah, we we think, uh, but but it's not just one website. But uh, we think we think there's a, a various model that we could take. Um, you know, could be a partnership, could be um, 
because it, it really depends because because I think I think even even the design is, is still being upgraded. So but 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 the company level started now. So I think I think uh, if we um, talk again maybe in early next year, then then it could be much firmer. Yeah. Okay, I want to I wanna actually make sure we talk a little bit about a power subsystem since we've mentioned it a few times and it seems some very interesting technology you have. But while we're still talking about missions, I, I have to ask you the question about one specific mission that you're assisting on because so many people have emailed it to me when I told them that I'm talking to MooSpace, which is, I think, the, um, the Thai Food to Space mm-hmm. mission. So the name is fairly self-explanatory, but can you give us sort of the quick summary of what, what that mission is? Um, it's basically... Uh, Sending the the food, uh, it's in the the poultry, the, the chicken, for uh, a, a big conglomerate. I think I think uh, for CP food, uh, it's a lo- local yeah, C- CP food. It's well, they they global too, but mm. uh, but then they uh, CP food is under um, a subsidiary of, but but they are public company, so so the probably listed um, very 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 large cap size in Thailand. But uh, they, but they, but their group is actually the largest uh, private uh, uh, company in Thailand, based on Thailand, because their vision is to be the kitchen uh, of the world. So so they've been supplying a lot of um, high culture like you know products like to the world to to, to many countries. So 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 so, then, so the mission is to uh, since we we have existing um, experience, you know, working on the setting electronics to space. I was working with uh, nano racks and, uh, and that was, and we, the only, the only Thai company that done that. Uh, and then, then uh, a tech company, a startups. So, so I think we are on uh, CP radar on that. And then, and then, so uh, because, because they also want, they are vertically integrated food company. <laughs> so, you know, feeding the the chick, chicken farm all the way to make the the packaged food. So, what what will they be actually sending to space? Is it like a chicken curry, or what kind of product will it be? Um, I think it's, it's to be decided. So, I, I can't talk in details, but I'll, I'll let them talk about because some I, sort of time. But, but, they, yes, they, but they but they they mentioned in I think you could find um, uh, for sure it's, it's Thai bears, uh, Thai Thai bears with chicken. Chicken okay. Thai basil, and yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, they, 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 that's 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 one for sure. The curry, I, I, because we had an announcement like a couple of weeks ago, I, I didn't hear the curry, but the Thai Thai basil, yeah. like the the pat, pat kapow, yeah, kapow kapow kai. So that's that's what they're sending. But then they could be adding because it's it's not just one 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 meal. It's it's various. And they're taking this to the ISS or what is this? <laughs> okay, yeah. Is there a date for this yet? Um, uh, in inside Axiom three. Okay. Well, I, I I envy those astronauts. That's going to be much better food than usual. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But but then but then the, the goal was to yeah to for for this mission was to go. Well, we, we we are supporting uh, CP vision. So we we using our expertise in uh, the payload delivery and and homegrown talents to to help them. So that's why they said Thai food. So they didn't say it, it's their project, right? So they they want the vision to be the entire Thai people. Um and and. Uh, so we learn a lot as well that uh, you know astronauts how they how they eat <laughs> because you saw you saw you know it was the former uh, NASA astronauts like uh, Mike Massimiano like that that came I, I was I was sharing the stage with him as well um, yeah so 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 I, I I understand a lot that you know like that that's the whole uh, psychology you know the food it's like you know, the, the performance of the astronauts and the also the the, the psychology of the astronauts you know that sometimes they need to have like very special food like the the the, the very special day you know that that contribute into the success of the mission um but then that that's the space travel as well so <laughs> i assume i assume you know this kind of uh uh starting from the chicken but but could scale up to to various other food products could be similar to how when, when you when you fly into Bangkok this time, mm-hmm. right? So so you so that there's a lot of we're gonna. Variety. I think every astronaut and also private astronaut should be very happy if you can have Thai food in space. But switching back yeah. from food towards uh, to briefly talk about your your power subsystem technology because you've re- you've touched upon it a few times and it seems like it's interesting in house developed technology that may have competitive advantages. Do you just want to briefly summarize what it is and and how it may be, you know, um, better than other existing solutions. Right. Um, the what what we aim for longer term, it's we we targeting the the solid state battery. Um, so that's the ultimate goal to to go solid state. 
so so meaning that to remove um the the liquid contents out from from the inside battery so so the the, the reason for that it's because uh you know but but there's a lot of difficult words behind it as well um a lot of material science um chemistry um stuff not, not nano uh technology um because in in theory if, if you do do a solid state it means you could you could increase the energy density because you know it it it's like you know the, the liquid and then and then solid right and solid mean it means you pack more more stuff inside it right but it's just harder to 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 trans to transfer the electron so 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 that that's like the the golden question that you know if, if you could improve their conductivity while maintain maintaining the solid state so so that that's what the the r and d the time the effort that we put in uh, into our into our labs to 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 develop this um, unique material inside the battery and the r and d part of the funding round that you mentioned that's yeah. as well yeah. okay yeah. very interesting so we haven't talked about the so much about the satellite manufacturing market at large, and I want to ask you because it's been quite interesting. There have been a few interesting things going on. Of course, satellite manufacturing has been around for many decades, but more recently there have been some trends. Like there has been, um, I think, a fair amount of consolidation, right? Mm. A lot of transactions of you know, big aerospace companies like like Boeing or Raytheon buying smaller satellite manufacturing. Yep. That's been one trend. And then the other thing I've seen uh, again working more on the investment side is sort of very recently or more recently new companies coming up and really say, saying like okay we want to kind of rethink this almost from scratch and the examples that come to mind is well i, I guess you guys maybe as the pioneers because 2017 and then but very recently companies like uh, apex in the us uh, or reflex in germany which i think are mm -hmm. both from memory also targeting small set class yeah. and kind of want to do the mass amount of mass volume manufacturing process. Right. How do you think about the industry, sort of the lay of the land and where the satellite manufacturing industry is going? Um, well, eventually, I think for the satellites, I think that uh, you, 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 you go by scale, right? You know, we will have how many satellites you could make. Um, you could make, uh, uh, well, total, total energy market is like 1,000, 10,000. 100,000 or 1 million, right? Because I, I think the satellites for the constellation we're never going to go to a million for sure. That, that's, that's, that's. You mean sure. a million satellites? A million orbit. satellites. Mi million, million small satellites is impossible. In orbit. In orbit. That, that sounds horribly crowded. That, that's right. That's know, right. That's right. That's right. But, 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 but what I'm, I'm trying to say that because we, for, for new space, we, we are, we always say satellite, uh, but on our team, we notice there was some phase that, you know, on on the announcement, we, we say satellite as a robot. So we see satellite is as a robot. It's a robot. But we are, and it's, it's an advanced robot that we are building. So we, 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 we have like, you know, in order to be, I think, to make it people more understand about what we do. So we are like, you know, we are aerospace manufactured. We are satellite manufacturing in Southeast Asia, but but literally we, we are the robot manufacturing. So we, so that that's but but and, and we know our, 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 our uh since I'm 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 yeah, working with our engineers, uh we, we know that that there's probably gonna be about well in ideal case like 10,000 satellites to be to be made. <laughs> that's that's per year. Not a per year, total, total. Okay. That that's pretty much it for for the you know, for for the role, for the for the for the for the groups of robots that we built, the first ones. Oh, for new space, for new space. Okay, yeah, understood. Space. I thought you were talking yeah. still industry. Oh, well, 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 but but that number for the industry. So so we, we might not be getting to do all all ten thousands. Mm -hmm. We might be getting to do like five percent, ten percent of them. Sure. Right? So and that's, that's of course always excluding. I'm assuming people like SpaceX, who we know are just going to do yeah, everything right. in house. That's right. That's right. So, 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 so I think, I think there was some, there was some point that, uh, uh, that will be an upgrade to new space to, to be a man, a robot manufactured at some point. So, and then it could be like as a robot. So, so it will be a new kind of robot to, to fuel our factory. That's for sure. Yeah. And so do you, do you actually ever think we're going to get to something where like right now we manufacture full satellites and all the subsystems payload. 
um, you know, you sent them to orbit. Historically, they've been big satellites and they stayed in orbit 15, 20 years. For Leo now, it more seems that life is something like five to seven yeah. years, right? Yeah. But some people have the vision that ultimately we could, um, you know, if we if we perfect in orbit servicing, right, like refueling, but also robotics mm -hmm. um, and proximity operations and all of this, that we could get to something like, uh, you know, almost like a cell tower in space where you have a platform. And then if you need to upgrade, you know, some service spacecraft comes along and just swaps out the payload. Right. Do you see that as a viable future? Or like a service line extension for Leo? No, just something like you, instead of, you know, sending up satellites and sort of like you use them for five years and then you oh, basically oh, throw oh, them oh, away, oh, something oh. that you know, would be more Let's like see. you have a platform, a permanent platform in space, and you just swap out the payload with robotics. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Um, well, I think it depends on the on the technology, right? Because even that you need, you need a very, I think, I think it's it just like, uh, I'm I'm not writing it off. I'm, I'm I'm just ready to see what it looks like <laughs> at the moment. Um, it the, the the concept sounds sounds uh the live extension sounds um sound very interesting for the geo right because it costs a lot more and it, the mission is longer and then you 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 put out a robot to you know to extend its life but for Leo you are close to the factory like. You know, like, like the TO is like 30,000, but on the moon, definitely, yes, you, you do need that. Um, but for, but for Leo, you are 500 uh, to 1,000 kilo, kilometers from the earth. And, and, uh, I was thinking like, why not take advantage of the new technology? Well, well, well but, but, but what I'm seeing, because, because the speed that is orbiting as well, it's, it's, it makes things very, very challenging and uh, yeah it's not trivial for sure it's not trivial for sure because it now you have a gravity the speed of the objects it i i, I can't understand why why it might be a little bit harder for the leo side maybe you you want to build something that you know burn completely or like 99 you know 0.9 percent you know when you re-enter re the atmosphere i was thinking like you know keep it simple and 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 yeah, i think i think seven 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 years uh, five to seven years time is a good a good lifetime because by that time you be able to insert the new the new the new uh, the newer technology. So, so so your satellites obviously have their own onboard propulsion systems. By the way, you're manufacturing that in house as well. Um, we try, we try. Okay. Yeah, we have we have that uh, for the propulsion. We have we have the test bed for I think up from I, I try to recall how many watts. Um, I think it's like from ten watts to. I, think, I I don't have the, the max watts, but electrical propulsion. Ele electrical propulsion. Yeah. So we, we have that test bed uh, in our factory one. Um, but now we've been open because we have to focus. So so we've been also looking to to uh, even source it in as well. So I think I think that because that depending on um we 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 know that the 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 money comes in, we are definitely gonna go to battery, definitely gonna go to power electronics. Um, we, if, if we can squeeze it out, we, we, we gonna go for, for the electrical portion as well. But then if not, then, then it might be a good, uh, potential partnership that, that we could, we could team up because we, we, we've been following a lot of, uh, this electrical portion, uh, development in the market because we, we think, uh, because, uh, if you look inside, that was the, as I recall, that was the, um, you know the, the type the type of gas that you have to select right you have to go um you know uh krypton uh uh so krypton c and now even i got to yes. it and now, now it's stepping down so that, that's one and and the other one very important is the, the is the uh, the power processing unit so that, that that was something that we 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 created it and we thought that oh yeah maybe if we um felt like it's too much for us in in, in order to let's say you know uh we we let's say we have to to bring out the the money that we have to deliver to the customers and then then we might decide to team up and then you know with someone that we might you know be able to put some of our system in there or or, or we, we we open for for you know using our other uh you know proportion manufacturer entirely as well at, at at this point at this moment would you would you consider chemical proportion as well um yes we consider as well okay. yeah yeah, we 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 consider chemical propulsion as well. We 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 went to electric, but then we saw there was some. Um, I think we we ran pros and cons, and we we think we think it, uh, some of the chemicals still make sense as well. 
Okay. And so the last trend I wanted to ask you about is that we've seen some satellite um, manufacturing companies, let's call it, extend their business model vertically in the sense that they're now also running what is sometimes called space as a service business models, right? That they're basically offering their, their satellite platforms to, to host other people's payloads and operate it and sort of basically charge a monthly yeah. price for that. Subscription. Exactly. Is that something you guys are considering as well? Um, I, I, I think it's, uh, we, we can if we big. <laughs> But if or or are we owned by you know a big big companies that that could do the financial services to to turn it to or, or opex right I mean I, I mean that's that's great for the users by the way um, but for um, well we had the service on on the on the the internet side in the service side to the Leo so that's that's a full subscription service for sure um, for this. I I I I think we will see. I think I think it's gonna be some time to us because because it's like we still need uh, um, the customer with the payment terms in order to you know to raise funds and to yeah because I I think as a service works when when the technology might be proven and it's like when you lease a car from I remember when I when I was in the United States I I, I remember um, leasing the car like like a Honda. Civic. It's my first car that I bought myself. Uh, it, it was like the lease, right? And 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 uh, very affordable. But then later on, I got BMW. I bought it and financed it, right? When I look back, I should have, I should have, uh, yeah. So it was it was related to the financial, and then but but that's a card. But this is like the satellite, so it's might be um, those who buy as a service may maybe big companies that that maybe have some kind of existing relationship with, with the you already. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. Okay, and so let's talk a little bit about, about your vision. So where do you see MooSpace if all goes well in 10 to 15 years? So I guess that's even looking beyond block two in an ideal scenario. Well, how many years do you have? My... Well, you can pick, but something you need for, like yeah, I'd say 10, 10 to 15. 10, 15 yeah. years. Um, yes, we, we, we definitely, I, I want to see, because... Uh, when I started new space, it was because of uh, you know the the, the I see uh, natural resources on Earth is depleting over time. So so human will have to grab. Oh, so you were looking at in space. Uh, yeah, yeah, in space yeah, mining. yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, but like uh, uh, in space resource in the future, well, human. Um, I think well, well, there's a lot of people saying uh, you know about you know human human going out. But I think there's a lot of founders that that have that that same vision. Um, but then to 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 look at like put it into practice, um, definitely I see Mu Space as being a leading tech company in this region, like a very advanced technology. Because we we work on we work on I mentioned we work on batteries, we work on um, the the computing uh, chip. Uh, you know, so so we hope that that could expand as well and and. Because new space, the uh, full name is new space and advanced technology. So new space and, and advanced, advanced technology. technology. Okay. So we wanted to, and and we we have a goal to be, uh, um, like a top top five technology company from Southeast Asia. So that's that's gonna you know, uh, and and I mentioned about you know we going to you know at some point manufacture different kind of robots. So mean, meaning that we we're trying to to, to see. Well, oh, the satellites, you could only make uh, the maximum of the more is like tens of thousands, but in order to, to go to 1 million like robots. So that, that that's going to be a different device that we have to make. So that that's, that's how we're going to grow just beyond. And then and that, that hopefully at some point can fund, can fund the in space resources. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, like sure. if, if, you, if you do it now, it's going to be very difficult, but then if you become, let's say, uh, you know, a multi-billion or even a trillion, then then you could fund your your you know what's what the 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 I think your the, the big vision, the big goal that 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 you have from the beginning. So so it has to be step by step. So so we we've even you know how how my even myself and our childers, you know, because now, now we even have the structure to to go into, you know. It's not just space. It's also the, the related technology side that we're gonna be that you're gonna be seeing new space 
like getting into um well you saw us getting into already so we you know the digital infrastructure you know where to the digital assets um the, the battery that might have some partnership some some joint venture that might go into a scale production of the batteries to to uh electric vehicles for example to, to other industries so so that that's all coming up from from us yeah and starting with a big vision and then going step by step i mean it makes all the sense and that's face it that's at the end of the day that's what spacex is doing as well starting with the let's yeah, go to mars mission thing. and then go yeah. launch new services and yeah. so forth james as we're wrapping up here we have two questions we always ask at the very end one is if you weren't doing news new space and you obviously sort of you know you know the space economy very well um what other parts of the space economy do you find interesting and to pursue entrepreneurial entrepreneurially? Oh, meaning that you are not building new space? Yeah. So if you if you weren't doing new space, but you had to do some other venture in space right now, what sort of sub segment of space might it be in? Would it be something, for example, in EO and satellite communications or? Oh, oh, oh. Well, well, if it's not satellites, it has to be rockets, right? <laughs> It has to be hardware. <laughs> yeah, it has to be hardware for sure. I have to be hard, like heavy. Um, yeah, as a propulsion side, because that's, but, you know, we have like Elon and Jeff and even some other newer companies, even, you know, my, my creativity team is doing it. Um, yeah, many people, so I heard there's a lot of rockets, but but then new space we have a spaceship concept, but which which we never took it off yet because we know we know that it's gonna take a lot of resources to build rocket companies. Well, maybe maybe in the future some sort of you know specialized spacecraft that can go interplanetary to for the space resources. Yeah, maybe like creating the the, the space robots. I want to do that. Yeah, I, I like when I mentioned about the robot mission. I, I like Gundam. I like Macross. No, this is like Japanese. Anyways, I really like oh Gundam, you know, which uh, but my sounds childish, but they, they just wrap up the, the latest episodes, right? It's about a Gundam with uh, kind of like a data storm quantum wave kind of kind of thing. <laughs> so so I was like, yeah, if I if I can do it, I'll, I'll build a spare robot. I'm gonna check that out. Yeah. But, okay, you, you're, <laughs> you're very nicely crossing over in what is really our final question in every yeah. episode, which is basically about science fiction and sort of yeah. obviously yeah. like science fiction. Yeah, I, I do. But, I do. <laughs> but, but, apart but, but from the Japanese, <laughs> what, what are some other you know favorites of yours in the science fiction genre? Oh well, science fiction. Well, I like Star Wars. I I, I never watched Star Trek. Right. Well, I, I open up Netflix and then I I just skip through and then. Maybe because it didn't happen in science fiction. Um, yeah, I, I like Star Wars. You know, I, I like, uh, well, you know, light and dark side a lot. Because even our logo, you see, it's like from Yin Yang, right? Black and white. That's like, <laughs> this is like yeah, uh, Dark Lord and Jedi kind of in combination our logo already. So, dark side. Yeah, this is very, it is, it is really like Yin Yang kind of, kind of, uh, uh, set up from the beginning because it's kind of like you know you, you need a people with a special ability that's young and you need it's like you know people that should actually bring the teams together to achieve their bigger goals so those are like um so that's why i like star wars a lot because of that black and white <laughs> Good. Yeah. james thank you so much for your time today and I wish you all the best for the various plans, Block 1 sales, the Block 2, and I hope eventually you will become a big Southeast Asian technology company and be as well known globally as CP Foods. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Rafael, for coming to our uh, office and to, to Bangkok. It's been a pleasure. Well, that's it for another nominal episode of the Space Business Podcast. If you like this podcast, please consider giving it a five-star rating on your favorite podcast platform, such as iTunes. You can follow us on Twitter at podcast underscore space. Also consider supporting us at www.patreon.com forward slash space business podcast. If the podcast got you interested in learning more about the business opportunities in the space economy, check out my new online course on space entrepreneurship on udemy.com. The link is in the episode description. Lastly, if you have any feedback, including ideas for guests, and that may include yourself if you have an exciting space story to tell, or interested in being a sponsor, drop us an email at spacebusinesspodcast at gmail.com. I look forward to seeing you for the next episode.